so welcome to a video of my PSA cards that I got in the mail today uh, sent them off about a month ago to get them graded and what you do is you send off a card that looks like this and it comes back encased like this I will be selling them on eBay, most of them, not all of them. Some of them will be in my personal collection, which I will show you right now. These are my Frank Thomases. I love the Big Hurt. This will be going in my special area, my PC area on the display. Uh, if you saw my other video, you would know what I'm talking about on my room display. Uh, these are all of his rookie cards, and I'm very happy they actually got graded because I bought a huge lot of his rookie cards for very cheap, like $25, $30. So I was kind of wondering if they were real or not. I couldn't tell if they were fake. And that was one of the reasons why I got them graded, but also I wanted them up on display. And the first one is a nine, which is I take for a 90s card, I will take that. Then I got another which was an eight near mint and an eight near mint nine is your mint and then you're gonna have tens with your gem mints and when you get in the 90s cards it's it's very very hard to get well anything mid 90s back where they're still making cardboard it's kind of hard to have any tens with any that years if you're just somebody just took care of them but didn't sleeve very every one of them or something like that because i like to mess with mine when i was growing up so i have they're in good shape they're in very good shape most of them but they're going to be nicks and stuff like that on them. And then I'll start out with a 7 near mint. My letdown of uh, everything that I got. Everything other than this, I was happy with. But this was that came out of a Topps holiday pack. Topps makes a mega box for the holidays with snowflakes or something with that. And they, you know, special chrome cards. Uh, I believe... This was the version that might have had Otani or somebody like that in it. Last year was the only way you could get it. Uh, but this was a 7 near mint. Kind of a letdown. Now these are all 9s I believe. First ones are going to be Otani's. And all I had was, now the rest of these are going to be Atani's and Judges. I'm going to go through them pretty quick. It's going to be a pretty quick video. Nine on a Don Ross. Diamond King. I say Don, Diamond King. Don Ross used to make the Diamond Kings back in the day. These are going to be all Bowman. Like I said, these are all nine. I'm not too happy with them. They, they, they're a little loose. These Bowmans are a little loose in this. I don't know why uh, the other ones are not like that. I've seen them moving around in there. Nines all the way across. Aaron Judge now. Just the regular tops. Again, these are all nines. 2015 Bowman. Judge? Now, I had all these in my collection, so I didn't go out and buy these separately. I popped them out of packs myself. I'm not a Judge fan, so I wouldn't do that. I like them slab like this. It makes the cards pop. 
Again, any interest in them, I will be posting my eBay down below. These are fire. Tops fire. I got quite a few of these. I don't know how they're nines. Cause I, I took every one of these straight out of the pack and put them right into sleeves. These fire ones. And I got nines. I don't understand it. These other ones that are older that Bowman made. They went in my card collection because I didn't know who the hell Aaron Judge was in 2014. Because I'm not a Yankee fan. And I don't know if a Yankee fan knew who he was in 2014. Except a big minor leaguer. This is an update rookie card. Which back in the day, just like King Griffey, I was back the only way you get their true rookie card was to get the update packs. And they were, a lot of times, they were kind of hard to find. Last few years, the updates. I like this card here. That's a nice card. I just like the, the way it looks. These darn tops labeled gold. I, I don't even know if I'll buy it. I, I can't tell which is which. It's hard to find a class. and They got to do a better job of telling you what they are. So that's all nines. Now we're going to go to the tens. And it was about... 50 50, probably break 25 tens and 25 of anything under than a 10. I like this card here Tyler Austin and Judge. 10. Otani. Oh, my Gypsy Queen. Love some Gypsy Queen. That's a good looking card. And Otani, I'm kind of just indifferent about it. Not somebody I go out of my way to look for. I think he's very good, I guess. I just don't know if the hype is real. It's already hurt. He's having issues because beginning of the year, from my understanding, because he didn't like the way the American balls were. So these are all tens, 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 and. You get them graded, PSA has them in a spreadsheet. They know how many 10s are out there they've graded. And 10s are a lot better than raw. And if you have a raw card, which is one that's not graded, this is raw. And you don't know if it's going to fetch a 9 or 8, 9, or 10. You're better off trying to sell it without it being graded. But I just like to have them slabbed. They look good. And if you get tens, half tens like I got here, it's or in a lot of nines. I did very well on this one. I did very well. I take care of my stuff. Take care of them. Like I said, uh, well, like a, people think, you know, card collecting is some grubby dude in the basement, which is kind of funny because I'm in the basement, but. It's graduated to uh, you gotta you gotta know what you're doing or you get overwhelmed in it right now. And this one I like this one. This is a a blue variant refractor of the 2015. Kind of interested with that. What might that might get me there? I like that one. It's glaring everything that I got on in my room. like this next one too I, I love inserts if you've seen my other videos you'll know that I love an insert freshman flash I like that swing and he gets gets under and generates some power in a big frame it's kind of hard for a man inside us to do that easy to get power but it's just hard to get down like like a pitcher pitcher shows him really getting under the ball elevating and these are more of those fires. 
And like I said, people like judge base cards. As soon as I get them, I take them out. I put them in the plastic. So I know I'm going to get them cinematic graded. Doing it with uh, that Claver kid that's playing for the Yankees right now. Probably sending some of his stuff out to be graded. Uh, Juan Santo Soto or whatever for the Nationals, but I, I don't. They probably won't get sold unless I get quite a few of the same card. I'm a Nationals fan. I know I'm wearing a Mets hat, but I used to go to quite a few of the Nats games with my dad. He watches them every day. If they're playing, he's watching them. Him and my sister. So, kind of, kind of do it. I like this card too. I don't know if that one's going to go out. Or last two. I, I don't know if these two are going to hit the hit eBay. I like that that eighty-seven look. A nice card. I mean, it is Aaron Judge, a future Hall of Famer already. <laughs> right, seven more years of anything he's doing now, and he should block. So, Chrome. Got a refractor of this card, too, somewhere. I might have already blew past it. I'll probably, I may handle that. trying to figure out what the difference was oh here's the refractor here's the refractor it's, I don't know if you'll be able to see it it's prismed I can see it on my screen I don't know if you see it on there well that's my second lot that I've gotten from them that I've sent in graded First one I've showed to you, uh, take this time to tell you that uh, I, I do this because I'm trying to uh, educate myself while I'm doing this and then educate others. It's, it's a hobby I don't want to see die, I'm trying to carry it on. Uh, if anybody does picks up cards just for fun, I have a friend at work does it. Uh, you want to know what you have, be happy to talk with you. Uh, I'm not here to rip anybody off. Uh, like I said, it's a fun thing. If And also, I, I open up all kinds of cards. I've opened up 94 Upper Deck here lately. I've opened up 91 Upper Deck. Uh, uh, I opened up some a, a couple of different 90s. In the 90s, I didn't collect a lot, a lot. I just picked up cards here and there. Uh, the younger man didn't have a lot of money I don't have a lot of money now but I have more uh, disposable income I guess you could say but uh, so if you think of anything that you want me to open or, or get a hold of or you know that you, you want to talk about if you want to uh, get a group together and buy some cards case high-end low-end uh, pick your team Random anything we want to do uh, Auction off the cards. I've seen it done every kind of way You want to do it random pick where you could have a draft of the cards picked uh, We can do that too. So all you got to do is just let me know in the comments and please if you enjoy what you're seeing subscribe hit the subscribe button uh, You don't even have to hit notifications even though I would like for you to do to do that um, but please, if you enjoy what you're liking, hit the like button and subscribe. That's all it's to it. It's no money out of your pocket. Uh, subscribing is absolutely free. And, uh, just, uh, show me that you like it. And if you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe or not. Uh, but let me know why you dislike it. Uh, 
it's, it, I don't care if you say it's my face. I don't, whatever. Uh, and let me know what I can improve on and, uh, and what should I continue to do. And uh, other than that, have a great day.